This is the USACE 8, 8 Minutes with an Army Aviation Subject Matter Expert. Let's fly with the topic, the USACE Credentialing Program. I'm Sergeant First Class Paul DeFeo, and I'm the Program Manager for the USACE Credentialing Program. What is the USACE Credentialing Program, and how is it different than other credentialing programs? So there's three types of credentials. Institutionally delivered credentials that are aligned with POIs that are managed here at Proponent. You have mandatory credentials, which align with soldiers' MOSs that they have to maintain to perform the MOS, and then the, all of the credentials that are in the credentialing assistance program. So that's any, any credential that you'd like to obtain uh, at your heart's desire with your $4,000 a year, your tuition assistance money. This program is different because it doesn't utilize your funds for your CA. So say you're a full-time student and you're trying to maximize your semester hours and you don't want to break into your $4,000 a year for your tuition assistance, this program covers the cost of credentials that align with your MOS, so you're not using your CA funds for those credentials. You're using the proponents' funds for those credentials. Why should I get a credential, and will it help me down the road? So a credential for the enlisted side is worth 10 promotion points for each credential earned. Uh, it adds the, a block in your civilian certificates on your ERB, and it'll help you get a job down the road. Most definitely, uh, a lot of places hire specifically our AMP mechanics uh, that go ahead and obtain that credential. And, uh, you know, it's a requirement to hire on a lot of jobs. How much am I authorized to spend on credentials through the program? So each fiscal year, you're authorized $800, but the CG puts out a memorandum for certain programs that authorizes an extension. And for certain programs like the airframe and power plant, it goes out to $3,000 for that credential. But at $800, you can do quite a few credentials uh, because the average credential is $135 to $175. So there's, you can definitely maximize your, your potential utilizing that $800. How do I learn more about this program? So you type in Army Cool OSD in, the, in any search engine and it'll pop up with the Army Cool's website. You'll select, there's chiclets with drop down menus and you'll select your MOS. The credentials will tear down and you'll see an icon that says proponent funded. Anything that is proponent funded is sponsored by the branch. And you can click on that icon and it'll lead you to a menu that takes you right to our email address and our phone number and you can contact us that way. You can also Google the USACE credentialing program and our site will pop up. It's on a, it's a public domain site, it has our email address, basic information about the program and our phone number. And you can contact us that way as well. How do I apply to the USACE credentialing program? So after you determine which credential that you would like to pursue, you fill out the 10 echo, which is a supporting document and the request form from us. Uh, for funds for the credential. You fill out all the blocks, you put in your plan of action, and your first sergeant or commander is the approving authority for the 10 echo, and then you email it to us for approval. You receive approval from us, the turnaround time is, is fairly quick, no more than 48 hours, and then you can go ahead and purchase the exam that you are looking to pursue. After you're done completing the exam, you would submit your certificate of completion, a receipt with your name on it for the credential, the 16 ECHO and the vendor ID which we provide you. And it's all fairly simple because we provide you with a checklist of everything that's required after we send you an approval email for the 10E. So after I get the approval email for the 10E and I've done everything I need to do, how long does it take for reimbursement to come back to me? So after you submit all of your documents, and we ensure that they are correct in nature, it takes seven to 14 days for G8 to process your reimbursement and you receive your funds through DFAS through your account that's associated with DFAS. This is great information, but can you give me something that's more tailored to my MOS and my unit? So we provide NCOPDs for any unit that requests it. So if you're in an attack battalion, let's say, we're gonna tailor it to the soldiers that are in your unit. 15 Romeos, 15 Yankees, and, and of that nature. We'll even go down to the platoon level and provide an NCOPD. You just let us know 
Uh, if it's an avionics shop, we'll give you information about certified electronics technician, the associate level credential, and so on and so forth. Do you come to us or how do, how do we receive that? So we conduct the NCOPDs via Teams. If you're local on Fort Rucker, we, uh, we can come to you. Every ALC and SLC class here at Fort Rucker receives a brief from us, so those soldiers are armed with that information when they leave here. And uh, at the 128th, Mr. Gasway, he puts the information out to every ALC class that attends. Thank you for listening to the USACE 8, brought to you by the United States Army Aviation Center of Excellence.